And, and then, so I called him, and he said, so he gave us compliments and stuff like that. You know, that's who you are. And it's like, no, we're going to come in, and we're going to rebuild it, we're going to blow you away. So that's what we're going to do. So this is just a spillway which attaches the pipe to it and allows the water to fall out. Fall off. Fall off. Okay. So if you have a spillway at the top and you have your skimmer at the bottom, mm -hmm. those are the only two elements that you need. That's mm -hmm. yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll come from the water source. We'll put in a, a male adapter, so it'll be PVC to here, PVC again, and then... Um, what like triggers the, this to allow it to flow? Or it's always flowing right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's just decreasing the pressure coming out of the hose pipe. So this brings it down to 25, and then right after this, we can put a ball valve. And the reason that I do this and not just the ball valve, is because there's always a partner, a homeowner, they'll like open the ball valve all the way. But even if they do do that, the pressure is greatly reduced because of this, and the autofill should still function fine. and that the intake van was back here. And Ned wasn't here then. And then when Ned came later that day, he said we were doing the intake bay back here. That's... And uh, I didn't think it made sense at first, but I was like, maybe it's just because I'm new, like I trust in what he's doing. And then uh, I just wanted to see like how these aqua blocks would sit. And with this pipe right here, even if you put it right here, this is above concrete level. And, and I told them, I was specific, that that this would be the intake bay, the water would be really shallow, um, and uh, but it would be water, um, and then a waterfall would just kind of spill into this area. You know, it's supposed to be a simple rebuild and add an intake bay. You know, not add a whole bunch of extra you know. um, So, um, and as far as the, the depth, um, where's the, the okay, with the ball? Um, well, we're gonna want to use probably three. Job site with everyone looking at me. <laughs> the homeowners when pumping water out, you know, because some areas uh, are, are real strict about pumping anything out in the street. Um, ideally, we want to just water their beds and their lawn because um, it's good nitrogen rich water. Um, so, grade, so the patio is gonna be up here three inches above water line. and so that way we don't have to do cinder blocks or anything like that it's just it's already there uh, a lot less digging and then we dig out uh, we see where the aqua blocks are going to go and use our transit do some math figure out how deep those are going to go and then the pondless vault is going to go a little bit deeper and then we throw in the underlayment throw in the liner the aqua blocks the vault Double check it with the laser transit. Boom, rock it. I mean, after that, once you start rocking, fly like the wind. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, yeah. So you just want us to cut it and keep it here because I mean, we gotta go. So we're gonna want to either 
run it down, down low, under. over, mm -hmm. into where the side or into the back where that hole is. Yeah, well, we just yeah, have a smaller I, hole. You have a little hole saw, right? No, for the drill bit, yeah. Yeah, do where it's convenient. It's Were you able to get hole. pressure reducers? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Cool. Now. The other thing, we need to order a new autofill for this place. It's one of them old square ones. Oh, that's what you guys have? Yeah. Oh, well. Damn, we're just there. I, I know, yeah. I didn't think about it till just now. Okay. Um, well, if we can install it tomorrow, we can just yeah. get everything else rock and roll in. And, and okay, let's just do it. Hey, everybody. So, this day with Doc Life Ponds, we are in Huntington. We're, we're in the middle of um, a hiccup, and uh, that's, that's the cool thing about business is learning from them and uh, persever persevering through them instead of taking a snapshot and uh, curling up fetal and rocking yourself. Um, you rise up and you fix it and um, I feel really good about what's going on right now we found some great people we're getting things back on the rail and um, we have the opportunity to come back and redo this guy's pond because it did not turn out well I wasn't proud of it and I just I don't operate like that so um, this thing's gonna be amazing and I'm really excited for the outcome um, I'm excited that uh, we're putting together a really good crew and um, getting everyone trained and, and it's, uh, that's what I love about this. Like I love ponds, but I love this business building thing and it's, it, it's just, it's exciting because there are some lows, but unless you go through that pain, you don't want to avoid it. You want to hit it head on and get through it and it just sucks sometimes. It's like getting punched in the face, kicked in the nuts, excuse me, but that's what it's like. But you just got to get up and keep charging and, and you grow, you get stronger and um, it's a good feeling. Enjoy life.